Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of the DIY workshop. I'm doing this because we all know one of the most fun aspects of filmmaking is the gear that we get to work with, the cameras, the lenses, the lights, the support systems. All that is tons of fun, but one of the most fun things to me is finding creative solutions to build my own gear. Uh, especially if there's something that I'm like, man, I just don't wanna drop the money on that. Let me figure out how to rig up the low budge solution for that. So uh, I don't know how many episodes of this I'll do. Hopefully it'll be a ongoing thing as I continue to make uh, little pieces of kit. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I made a DIY Cine saddle. But first, what is a Cine saddle? A Cine saddle is essentially a bean bag with a strap for your camera. It's great for handheld shooting. You wear it over your shoulder, you set your camera on top of it, and it helps take out a lot of those little micro jitters that we all hate. Uh, it's also great for putting on the ground, setting your camera on top of. It allows you to get low, stable shots that you couldn't with a tripod. And uh, there's, there's other uses for it as well, but those are the main two. Handheld operation and getting low ground shots. Because uh, you can kind of uh, beat it a little bit and uh, create a little divot for your camera so it sits in there very nicely. Uh, I would show you with my camera, but it is currently on the tripod filming me right now. So. I will just have to show you some behind the scenes footage of me using this. Probably want to do it. I think, let's do, so Jason, I'm gonna have you lead it in the knees. Just so you. And another thing to note, a Cine saddle will set you back about $375. This set me back about $70. So that is a fairly big difference in price for something that gives you pretty similar results. So uh, let's dive into how I made this thing. Okay, so laid out in front of me are the four different things that I needed to create my DIY Cine saddle. First is a satchel. I just bought this off Amazon. It was $40. I got one that wasn't too uh, wide. I didn't want it to be super bulky. And I wanted it to also have a, a canvas type material just so it could take a little bit more of a beating versus something that was cloth or fake leather. So a canvas um, satchel. I'm gonna skip over this, come back to this. The other thing you need is a dry sack. I got this big one from Walmart. It was $10, waterproof, super durable material. That's very important because the next thing you're gonna need are these little plastic pellets that you use to fill up bean bags, stuffed animals, uh, different things like that. Having the Pellets does two things. One, it creates a lot of weight, and that weight uh, helps you keep your camera sturdy and stable. Uh, and then it also allows you to form it, create shapes, so you're able to punch some little uh, divots in the beanbag material that you can set your camera in and keep it a little bit more stable. I took those plastic pellets, Build up the dry sack, roll up the dry sack, make sure you squeeze all of the air out of it, and then you buckle it up. All right, and then jumping back to this, these are just some old shirts that I don't use anymore. I think I have. 
I have two shirts folded up in here. And all I did was set these down at the bottom to help fill up the bag a little bit more. The sack that I had in here didn't quite reach the top of the bag, so I put those clothes in there just to help elevate it a bit. So you jam this guy down in there with the soft side facing up, not the buckle side. Fasten it shut. And you have a cine saddle. Just give it a couple good whacks. And now you have a cradle that you can set your camera in. One thing to note, um, I would recommend getting a bag that has really secure fasteners. One thing I didn't realize when I was buying this one is that it has buckles, but the, the piece of leather that the buckle attaches to is magnetic and just pops right off. It's kind of annoying, but I don't use this thing as much as I used to because I got an easy rig. Um, so that has replaced a lot of my handheld use of this, but I still use it for uh, low on the ground shooting. And it's also great if you're not able to get stable enough with your easy rig, actually using this in tandem with your easy rig. So you still have it clipped in and then you wear this and just set the camera on here. And now you have like four points of stabilization uh, compared to three, the more points the better. So. Yep, that's why I made this uh, DIY cine saddle, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know why I did that. I thought that would be like the YouTuber thing to do, I guess. Let me smack it off the table and uh, shake the camera. Let me... Yeah, so that's about it for this episode. That's why I made a DIY Cine saddle. And I'll see you in the next video.